Good morning, Whalers, and welcome to the WCPS Whaler News Network. My name is Cameron Johnson. And my name is Vincent Travaglione. Today is Wednesday, September 12th, and it is a day one. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by our great friends down at Stubby's. Located on the strip at 8 Broad Street, Stubby's has been serving breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late night food to the people of Nantucket since 2000. They have the most delicious food on the fly that you could possibly imagine. So whether it's the tasty egg sandwich in the morning, a classic burger for lunch, a healthy salad for dinner, or a nice Jamaican jerk chicken sandwich for that late night craving, you, you got to go to Stubby's. Stubbies. For lunch today, we will be dining on a chicken pasta Alfredo or a ham and cheese hoagie. For, for weather today will be cloudy with light rain early and a high temperature of 73 degrees. We should all take note that there is currently Hurricane Lee turning across the Atlantic Ocean. While this storm is not predicted to directly hit Nantucket, it will most likely cause high winds, huge surf, and possibly some flooding. This may also affect any travel plans for sports if boats get canceled. Now, a word from our school principal, Mr. Horton. Mr. Horton. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Vincent. My name is Mr. Horton, your Cyrus Pierce Middle School principal. I want to thank everyone for a great first six days of our schedule. Please keep up the good work. So good news and bad news. Uh, one bad news is to remember that we don't allow gum, candy, or soda here at CPS. Please make healthy choices for your snacks. Fruits, pretzel sticks, goldfish crackers, mm -hmm. and chips are better. On the positive side, we rescheduled our assembly that was canceled last Friday due to the half day to this Friday. <clears throat> the focus is going to be on the clubs that we offer here at CPS. Art club, bike, book, drama, games, the media news club, and a running club. We're also looking for new members for the yearbook, student council, and the science fair. Each club advisor will stand up and give a short description of their club <clears throat> at this Friday's assembly. In other news, relief has come for parents and students after the Steamship Authority added a late fast ferry trip between Hyannis and Nantucket for September and some of October. Nantucket Public Schools Athletic Director Travis Lombardi expressed relief at the schedule update emphasizing the importance of a 7.30 p.m. boat for all athletic programs. As, Nantucket's, as Nantucket Current notes, that that last boat, which typically leaves Hyannis between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m., is the trip many of the Nantucket public school sports teams rely on to return to the island after traveling to the mainland for games. Now for an important announcement from NCTV and Whaler Media 101. The Olivia and Oliver Diamond Show will begin production this weekend. They're looking for students who like to write skits and act. Kids can also just help run other parts of the show that will be performed and filmed in front of a live audience. The first meeting will be this Saturday, September 16th at the Boys and Girls Club. For more information, send an email to Tara at NantucketBGC.org or Marks at NCTV18.org. Also, any students who are interested in joining our Whaler News team right here in Studio 29, just stop by and come see Mr. G. Finally, today is Positive Thinking Day, which is set aside to promote the power of positivity and the impact this simple act can have on your life. Join us as we explain why maintaining a positive mind benefits you and those around you. Positive thinking is an emotional and mental practice that requires an optimistic outlook on life. It's about choosing to focus on the positive things that empower us despite our circumstances. A positive thinker doesn't ignore negative aspects of their life. Instead, they maintain a hopeful attitude to get them through the disruption. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the news for today. 
Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And most importantly, be kind to one another. Bye.